ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Welcome back to Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer. Absolutely brilliant, Uncle Al. I wouldn't have a little I wouldn't have expected anything less from you. Seriously, we talked about this for the first time yesterday. You must have been really inspired. Ah, Lottie, it wasn't a big deal. See, I just modified this telephone with some Lyle magic. Although it did take me all night. Ah, what is this, huh? It's got the amiibo symbol on it. Oh, good morning, Tiger. Check it out. Lyle invented this amazing device for us. We can use this puppy to contact clients directly. And face-to-face, -face too. Amazing, right? Explain it one more time for Dale's sake, will you? You want to hear about this, Dale? Well, Lottie told me we need to up our marketing game, you know? Be more proactive. So, I tinkered around and created the amiibo phone. You may be asking yourself, how is this amiibo phone different than a regular phone? And you'd be right to ask yourself that. Well... With an amiibo and well, with an Animal Crossing amiibo card and an NFC reader writer, you'll be able to call clients on this phone and sell to them even if you don't have their contact info. That's a bit creepy. But what if you don't have any Animal Crossing amiibo cards and a Nintendo 3DS NFC reader writer? Which I do have, by the way. Well, in that case, I guess this machine is just an office decoration. At least you won't have to worry about dialing any wrong numbers. Well, I guess that's the long and short of it. Well, don't forget about the amiibo phone. It might come in handy one day. You've only been dealing with new clients up until now, Dale, but now you can help established clients with any remodeling or new house requests. You can look for work by using the Amiibo phone, canvassing the town, or visiting old customers. I'll leave it up to you, Tiger. Just make sure you take care of one job request today. Good luck. Alright, so I guess I could do an Amiibo thing, but I've only got Digby, and I haven't unpackaged him yet. Oh, congrats, you can now use the Amiibo phone. Use Animal Crossing Amiibo cards to connect with your favorite animals. And take design request too. If you have a card and NFC reader writer, go ahead, give it a try. I'm not going to. I'm going to go outside and I'm going to find a new client out there. Uh, yeah, basically, I don't have any desire to collect all of the amiibo cards because it's ridiculously expensive. Whoa, hello. In my daydreams, I'm a cowgirl living on a ranch. I kind of want to do a ranch. I want a place where I can feel at one with nature. Oh, that there are two really cool requests out of my way. Oh, you're you're thinking about something. I want some Rococo furniture to turn my home into a gothic hangout. Huh, okay. Let's go and go with you. Caroline. Why, hello there. You work over at Nook's Homes, right? Hula! <laughs> it's a funny coincidence running into you like this. I was actually just about to drop by your office. You see, I need someone to build a new house for me. Would you be up for that? Hula! Leave it to me. Alright, let's do this. An entire new house, huh? Great, thanks so much. I love the, I love the music in this game so much. Uh, well, Caroline, let's talk a bit about your planning requirements. Dale, you need to choose a location that fits our client's needs. So she's on a ranch, so somewhere in the desert. That's not desert, that's raining. With a moat, that, that seems really... That was kind of ranchy. <laughs> ranchy, what am I saying? Uh, a couple of ponds. Again, a, a weird little bridge moat thing. Little pond there. That's now no longer in the, the desert. That's really strange. Uh, let's go with... There was like one which had a single pond. Like right on the corner. There's a single pond corner one. You know what? Let's just go with this one. I'm not going to take too long thinking about this. <laughs> um, Alright, Caroline. We'll get rolling with this plan here. Dale, head over to the site with Caroline. Go get him, Tiger. Okay, so we're building a ranch house by the sounds of it. So, let's uh, see what we can come up with. Hopefully it won't take as long as the last one. <laughs> this is so exciting. I'd better start researching housewarming party recipes right away. Okie dokie. A rustic ranch house. So first of all, we're going to change uh, the house. The fence. The fence. Let's change the fence first. Um, barbed wire fence is kind of ranchy, I guess. I'm trying to say ranchy. Not, not the other one. Ivy fence. No, it doesn't fit. Um, a ranch, a ranch. When I'm thinking of a ranch, I feel like horses and stuff. Log fence, the country, the country fence. That's the one. Uh, let's change the house style first. Um, small eaved house, maybe eaved house. I quite like that. The the larger eaved house it looks kind of cool. Although it is a ranch, so uh, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say maybe you'll have a small one, but no, nah, I don't think so. Okay, if it's a ranch, probably going to have, like, wooden shingles, I guess. And the exterior would be like, um, like a barn, I guess. Uh, a rush shanty one, grey brick. Hmm, gold cabana. Oh, maybe the cabana one. Although that is green. <laughs> the stone exterior looks kind of nice. Simple one, concrete, astro earthy. Earthy one looks kind of cool. 
Uh, the Zen. Uh, fancy garden kitty exotic. Kind of reminds me of a barn. You know, because the barns are red. Modern wood. Elegant. Lovely. Definitely not that one. Alright, let's scroll back to the beginning. And uh, take it. Oh yeah, because we didn't actually see what's on the first page. Brick. Brown brick. Brown wood. Red barn exterior. Well, that's just screaming out to me. Let's switch it to a white shingle roof. I don't think I do have a white shingle roof. White shanty roof. No, no, we don't have one. Red, black. I'm trying to think of something that would fit with the red exterior. Um, White concrete, no. White stone roof, maybe? It's not really that white. That's the problem. White overlap. No, that's too white. <laughs> There's just no pleasing some people. Um, all right, let's let's head back to uh, the shingle. This one was this a shanty? Brown stone, white stone. Hmm. I think the door is throwing me off. Actually, if I could change the door, then that would be a bit better. Um, yeah, yeah. Because if we can change it to something white, then we can also have a white roof, white tiled roof, maybe. That looks kind of cool. Yeah, let's go with that. Let's change the door to something white. Um, if it's a barn, then probably gonna be something like that one, white classic door. Um, uh, not too bad. The the roof again is still throwing me off a little bit because it's not like perfectly white. Um, again, I'm just looking at it and it's got sort of like a, a white border around the door, so maybe a red door would work better because it fit in with the um the exterior or yellow. I'm not sure. Let's go red and see how that turns out. With the, the bamboo? No, not bamboo. Shutter one looked kind of weird. Zen door, new. Steel door, new. Zen and steel again. What we got here? Sturdy door. Now uh, this reminds me... Ooh, imperial. No. Now this one kind of reminds me of a barn. Um... You know what? Let's go with the sturdy door. Which one? Let's go with the square one. Okay, yeah. House done. Cool. So now we just need to design the exterior. Okay, what new items do we have available to us? The ranch series. It's great. <laughs> um, nothing really outside-ish. So uh, let's just take a look at some trees first. I mean, to be fair, if it's a ranch area, probably not going to be a lot of trees or flowers. Um, but we will add some trees in anyway. Uh, maybe a stump at the front to, uh, to be like, this is where I sit down and... Tend to the horses. Yep. <laughs> and um, let's add some trees along the back. A large tree at the back right there. Um, let's put the house right up against the tree. Or actually, no. Let's put the house there. Put the tree in the corner. Then we'll get the uh, the smaller trees. One of those. Bonk. Bonk one there. We'll just sort of line the back with them. Space them out a little bit. Yeah. Like, there's no right or wrong way to do things in this game. That's what I like about it. And let's get some sh uh, some th some flowers to put along the uh, the right hand or the left hand side there. Because uh, I don't really think there's much outdoor furniture we can put in here. Um. Let's think. I'm thinking reds and oranges, maybe. Purples might look kind of cool, but they might stand out too much. Uh, let's go with reds. And oranges. We've only really got red and orange tulips, so let's let's use those. Red and orange. Oh right. So um let's just plonk these in. Plonk these in. I, I'm gonna need to move. <laughs> and like so. Swap those over. Like that. Uh, yeah, that's alright. Uh, we're going to add something along here, though. I'm not quite sure what. Um, how do you get to, like, outdoor furniture? I'm still I'm still trying to figure out the menu. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense to me. Can we add fish in here? Is, is it going to be in a goldfish bowl? Yes, it is. She's surprised. It's not good. Not a good thing. Um, like, is this outdoor stuff? That's not. That's, like, cafe stuff. Like, what is this? <laughs> what is this? I don't understand. Like, there's no labels. There should be labels. That's kind of cool. I like the swinging bench and the bucket. We're definitely adding those two in. Uh, maybe we can have the swinging bench, like, right next to the pond. Uh, can you sit on that? 
Uh, you can, but it might look kind of cooler uh, in front of, or maybe, yeah, in front of that tree. A little off tilt though. Yeah, I like it. Stump is gonna go uh, here, I think. Yeah, yeah, I like it. And the bucket, we're definitely gonna put the bucket there. Back a bit. Turn around. No, I quite liked how it was. Okay, um, what other furniture do we have available to us? I mean, we've got these weird toys, but we're not really going to add those. There's not really much you can put outside for a uh, for a ranch, is there? Let's go back to the, uh, the the viewfinder thing. Viewfinder? What am I talking about? <laughs> um, we're just going to put plain up ranch series. Or do I want to put cabin series? No, I'm going to go ranch series inside. There's not really much for outside, is there? No. Uh, that's alright then. I guess we can just... Oh, what what else do I put outside then? Um, there's not really much choice, is there? Do, 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 I guess, I mean, I guess we could put a table with, like... Actually, no, the lunchbox. Is that something which you can put on the floor? Uh, no. Don't like it. This is, this is actually quite tricky. Um... Uh, okay, let's go back to... I, I assume this is like outdoor activities or outdoor decorations. We don't really have much to choose from at the moment. Just basically stuff which we had from the old one. Um, or from the last one. Sorry. I like how you pick it up and it just says, Excellent employee. Oh my goodness. Pick up Caroline. It's like, oh, it's Caroline. She's just chilling on there so, for the moment. Uh, I guess that's alright. I mean, it's not amazing. I can squeeze by here. <laughs> That's great, I love that. Um, yeah, it's not amazing. I guess what we could do instead then, is like maybe drag things forward. And uh, including the house. If we drag the house forward as well, you could just fit some trees behind it. Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. And just put some more trees behind. That'll be fine. That'll be fine. Okay, that's maybe way too many trees. Um, let's just, like, pick up all of those, move them along, pick up all of those, move them along. Actually, that's like... Oh, no, that's not perfect spacing. Never mind. Doesn't matter, because we can't really see behind. Um, uh, let's let's actually get rid of that. Pull that tree back a bit. To there. Yeah. Eh, not amazing. It doesn't really fit, because there's, like, palm trees everywhere but that's all right. That's all right. We need to do something with this area. I'm not quite sure what. Like a little table would be nice, but we don't have any tables that would fit. Unless we just got a nice small ranch table. Eh, no. You see, no, that none of them really fit that well. So, okay, let's, let's go inside and do the inside now. Let's see what we can do with the interior. Maybe because we made the house bigger, we've got like bigger room to work with inside. Pardon me, I've been drinking too much Coca-Cola. Okay, what we got? Ranch table, ranch chair. Boom, easy. So, obviously, we're going to have, like, the ranch floor available to us. No. Okay. Let's search uh, for ranch. Oh, I can't spell ranch. There we go. Hopefully, there won't be too much to search for. Ah, we do have the ranch wall and ranch floor. Okay, super. And let's add in all of the ranch furniture we can think of. So, we got the bed. We got the table and chairs already in there. Um, I'm going to add in another ranch chair. And I'm also going to add in the ranch low table as well. Which is that one. Yeah. Woo -woo 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 -woo. And uh, there's a bookcase and also a wardrobe. Um, and the vanity or the hutch as well. Okay, lots of stuff. Lots of stuff to add in. Um, let's go for the bookshelf here. And so much stuff on the dresser, because we're also going to need the ranch bed. Okay, so we have chocolate block this full. Oh, I don't have enough room for the... Okay, okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the bed in the cord. No, I want to put the bed like that. I want to put the dresser next to it. Um, that's... I've already got a ranch bed. What am I doing? <laughs> I've gone crazy. Okay, yeah, yeah, I can dig that. 
Uh, in the corner there, we've got the uh, the table uh, with a chair on it. Let's move the dresser. I don't like that idea. The dresser like that, maybe? Hmm. No. <laughs> no. Let's add another chair in there. Let's put it right in the corner. Uh, we've got the uh, wardrobe. No, that's a bookcase. The hutch. Let's put the hutch in there. Although the hutch seems like more like a kitchen accessory, doesn't it? Rather than like a, a vanity thing. Um, okay, so let's not put. Oops. Let's not put that there. Uh, let's see what other items we have. There's like the decorations. I think is this one. No, that's electronics. I get so confused. Um, <laughs> what do we have in terms of lights? Any ranch stuff here? New? New? Okay, well, let's just go back to the search icon where we can see all the new things. Oh, the wall rack. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> that's adorable. Let's put it in. And the couch, of course. We're gonna have a nice TV. We haven't done, like, a, a TV chill-out area for a while, so let's do that. Um, what's this again? Ranch table, ranch chair. Cool. This is the client list book. Yeah, I don't want to do anything like that. Um. Okay, so she just wants the table and chair. I've already got the bed. Let's um move the bed and put it like that then. Just uh just off the wall a little bit. And then what we can do is we can have the dresser up against the wall. Yeah, I'm digging that. I'm digging that. And then the wardrobe. No, it's not a wardrobe. Oh, this is a bookcase. Okay, so what we could do is have the couch. That's the table. We can have the couch like this. Move that over. And then we could have like a, a, a wall TV. Let's go for a wall TV. Um, that one. I think that's the only wall TV the, there is. Um, although it's meant to be rustic. That's not very rustic, is it? No, we're not going to have a TV. We're going to have that nice end table down there, and we're going to put a nice flower on top. How about that, huh? Didn't see that coming. <laughs> um, a slipper rack. Where are the flowers? I, I get so confused with this menu. I've said this so many times. This menu just isn't happy. Ah, <laughs> uh, there are the flowers. Okay. Um, she's got, like, roses. Was it roses? No, it's tulips. Tulips outside. So red tulips. As if they came from her garden. They can go in there. And what else we got? Oh, cactus. Ooh. Or well, the caladium, I guess. I don't think that's one you put up. No, that's not. But we can put that. That's not really a cactus, but whatever. Okay. We're, we're missing, like, a, a rug, but that's fine. Also, I'm not a big fan of how there's not a lot of room there, so... Um, hmm. What's this? The bookcase. Bookcase would go well next to the sofa like that, actually. Yeah, I quite like that. This is this is alright. Um, let's add the wall rack. Just there, really. Next to the... No. Let's put it up there. Above the flower. Yeah, that's good. What rugs do we have? Do we have a nice rug? We do have a ranch rug. How big is the large one? Absolutely humongous. <laughs> um... How does that look, if I do that? Hmm. You know what? I dig that. That kind of brings everything together quite nicely. Um, I'm going to find something to put on top of that table, though. Uh, or the dresser, not in front of the window, though. Um, let's see. Any type of food or fruit? Mm, no. Um, these are all like the education stuff. Not a big fan of those. That bucket can go on top. <laughs> Hang on, can you put the topiary in here? You can, that's strange, I don't like that. Um, And then the furniture, like this stuff. What is all this stuff? What is this? <laughs> Sorry, that's a joke from work. I don't expect people to understand it, so I don't know why I said it. Um, Like, I guess, maybe she's got a goldfish? Pet goldfish. There we go. Squirrel with a pet goldfish next to her bed. How adorable. Alright, so um, that's not overly amazing. But it's basically the best I can do. I, I don't really have many more ideas than that, so let's let's see how it's done. All right. Great, thank you. Hula! <laughs> Hula! All right, awesome. So let's see what she says. How, has to say about this. 
Man, these episodes are going on longer. I'm glad I decided to only do like one house per episode now that we have to do the exterior as well. I mean, whew. Whew. I, I'm not even timing these, but I'm guessing they're like half an hour long. Uh, she seems quite happy with it all. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, she just got like brand new house. I'd be quite happy with new house, new garden and everything. Uh, I guess just our, um, that's quite a good photo actually. I guess our skills are just going to develop as time goes on. We just got to wait for that. Oh, no. Don't like that one. I, I decided to override it. <laughs> and, um, and I didn't like it. <laughs> I, no, I, I'm kind of happy with how this turned out. I mean, I guess I could have put something on the table in the corner there. Um, but yeah, that's alright. I, I really like doing the school. I can't wait until I'm doing something else like the school. That's not... Yeah, that's a that's a good shot actually. That's probably going to be the thumbnail for this video as well. All right, let's uh let's see what she's got to say about it. I do prefer the outside. Doing the outside is kind of tricky though. This is just inspired. I can tell I'm going to learn lots about decorating by studying what you've done here. Oh, well, thank you very much. That sounds exactly like what Goldie said. And we learned the emotion mistaken. Are you sure you're going to learn a lot, or are you just mistaken? Oh, all right. Okay. <laughs> the phone's asleep. That's strange. Welcome back, Tiger. Another great day, huh? Good job. I almost forgot Mr. Nook called earlier and said he wanted to see you tomorrow morning. Didn't ask what he wanted to, to see you about, but he sounded happy on the phone. That's a good sign. Well then, you should wrap things up for the night, write your daily report, and get out of here. So yeah, that's it. Thank you guys very much for watching this episode of Happy Home Designer. I, of course, will see you all in the next one, where we speak to Mr. Nook once again. Thanks very much, and I'll see you all next time.